Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. I'm your host, JK MAZ, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, why am I constantly relapsing? Do you ever ask yourself that question? Maybe you're one of those guys who's tried 90 day challenge. I'm gonna stay off pornography and masturbating for 90 days or 30 days, or maybe you know a week if that's where you're at. No shame in that. Maybe you've done one of these no fap challenges or you've done some sort of transformation challenge, but you've relapsed time and time again. Why do you relapse? What causes you to keep going back to pornography even after you've sworn off it? One of the biggest reasons why you struggle and you keep relapsing is because you don't have a lot of belief in yourself. A couple of days ago, I spoke about mindset, specifically the mindset of believing that your future is bigger than your past. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about belief. You don't truly believe that you're going to stay off pornography forever. Instead, you believe that it's only a matter of time before you give in again. Now, you might wonder how you developed this poor confidence in your ability to stay away from pornography. Where did it come from? It's very simple. Men who cannot develop this belief in themselves are men who have not been practicing the skills that are actually necessary to reboot. They are men who truly believe that somebody is going to spoon feed them what they need and they're somehow going to experience progress and this is going to help them reboot. I'm sometimes not even sure what men are thinking when they go to a 12-step group or when they speak to a therapist. And often I don't blame you because sometimes the path is not laid out for you. Like what's going to happen next? Because usually the system isn't intact or there's something wrong with the system. Now in the porn reboot system, there are quite a few coping tools and mechanisms provided for you. But the truth is you're not going to be great at them right away because most of them involve practice. And many of them are skills which you're going to have to internalize in order to see results. Skills take time to learn. You have to practice and implement them over time. So think of a professional NFL player. He's not going to get out on the field thinking he can win if he hasn't practiced the skills for the position he plays. A UFC fighter won't be confident for a fight if he hasn't honed his skills. And the pawn reboot system is no different. So ask yourself... If you have in one way or the other, maybe put together on your own, some of our coping skills and strategies, are you applying yourself to practicing these skills, right? Do you do the work to identify certain patterns in your life? Are you learning how to manage your biochemistry? Are you keeping track of your reboot capital? Do you have some sort of a relapse prevention plan? Do you learn from your previous slips? Are you trying to become better at identifying your emotions? Now, do you apply the things that you learn daily? And if you can't answer yes to most of those questions, chances are you're going to continue relapsing constantly. Moving past your porn addiction takes time. It takes patience. And what I don't hear many people saying is the practice that it actually takes. You have to work and apply these skills to your daily life. And as you hone your skills, you'll gain confidence. As you gain confidence, you start believing in yourself. Eventually, you get to the point where you truly believe that you can stay off your compulsive behavior forever. You move from being a trial rebooter, reminder, that's an individual who is committed to controlling their behavior, but secretly believes that at some point they will be able to view pornography or engage in whatever your compulsive behavior is in moderation. And the reason why you have that belief, even though you're committed at this moment, is because a part of you truly doesn't believe that it is possible to control this behavior. And I get it. There are very few of us out here who believe that it is possible and who practice it. The rest of society wants you to just stay, enjoy it, do it. You're human. You only live once. Have as many orgasms as you want to have. And there are not enough people who talk about moderation in your sexual behavior or controlling your sexual behavior or acknowledge the fact 
that there is an epidemic of men and women, of human beings who have out of control sexual behavior that's affecting their life. It's not about what you read in books. It's not about what you listen or you watch. There are a lot of things out there that will motivate you, right, to control your behavior. There are lots of things, myself included, that will make you feel good for a short period of time. If they aren't serving as inspirations for real life practice, then they aren't doing anything at all. All they are is simply mental masturbation. If it doesn't motivate you to work harder at your practice, to understand the connection between practice and belief, you're not going to make it. If you're courageous enough to admit that you struggle to believe in yourself, then you have the ability to fully recover. And that would be a great place to start. So whenever you're ready to practice, we're here to support you along the way. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later on in the week.